Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Zess. Today we're going to be practicing drawing a fox and we're going to start out with just the foreground. That's the fox part. To get this started we're going to draw together the head of our fox and I'm going to come around and start with the ear. So I'm kind of towards the middle of my paper and I'm going to start out with a sharpie so you can see it nice and bright on our screen. Kind of curve over, up again to a point. So those are going to be my fox ears. If yours is a little smaller um, or a little bigger or if in a different part of our paper, it's still going to be just fine. I'm going to connect down and make the upper half of my fox face. With lots of curved lines. I'm kind of curving out and back down and then I connect it again with that curved line in the center. Let's finish up this fox face. This part kind of comes down to more of a point. I can add in those little triangles using some diagonals in the ears. You can add any type of eyes that you'd like. I'm just gonna use a dot for now or a circle. Same with the nose. You can get a little more fancy with your nose, but right now just where that part, that curved line connects, I'm gonna make a rounded nose. And your mouth can change too, but my fox is gonna be in good spirits here. He's gonna have his mouth just smiling. The next part, we're going to come down and start off his belly or her belly of my fox. Kind of curves down in this kind of gumdrop shape. We're going to give him some arms. My fox is not going to be an ordinary fox. He's going to be alive. And I'm going to curve down around this bell-like gumdrop shape. You can get fancier with your hands too. I'm just going to have his hand kind of cupped like a mitten. And I'll do that same thing on the opposite side. Now I'm starting to finish up my fox or kind of the basics and I'm going to get the bottom on, kind of give him a pair of pants and let's give him a set of legs. My legs are going to come down kind of at a diagonal, curve out for that little foot and back over. Let's do that again on the right side. This time my foot's going to go out to the right. If they're not perfectly even or symmetrical, that's okay too. The last little step here, we can't forget our fox tail. You can put it on the right or the left. Mine's gonna come out from the bottom of his pants, around his hand, kind of curve up around the ear, back to a point, but it's overlapping, so I won't see it behind his head or his arm. And let's give him a zigzag on the back here. Mine did a really big fox tail. Yours can be much smaller if you'd like. And this is a great time too. If you wanna add in another fox or two, you could. And then of course, don't forget the background. So I'm gonna have my fox in a forest. So you might see some little grass. Please feel free to give your fox a different background or a different setting. Let's add in a little mushroom here on the forest floor. You can add in more grass. I can use a little bit of changing the shape or how I'm arranging these designs to make it look like the objects are going back further in the picture plane. So in the front here, I might have this big tree that I only see part of, but then as they get further away, they might be skinnier or smaller. You can have a couple overlapping if you'd like. You can have different trees. My trees are gonna be kind of simple. And add in maybe one more tree back here where you just see the bottom of it add in some more grass. Now it's up to you how you want to add any other textures or patterns. If you want to add in bark on the tree, if you want to add fur on the tail, um, you might add some little lines or little marks. You could give his shirt a new texture or pattern. Maybe you want him wear a suit or maybe his shirt is striped. Give it an interesting pattern or design. I kind of like the idea of, I might give my fox a bow tie, but you don't have to. I'm going to make him kind of wearing like a, like a vest. So he's looking kind of dapper. I can't wait to see all of your designs. When you're done drawing, make sure you outline and of course add color. Thanks for joining me today.